yo yo what is going on guys it is the dfs shark it is now the final day of the nba season it has been a blast you know sharing these plays with y'all and getting these dubs together hope everyone's been making that bank as we move into the baseball season but we still have the playoffs right we still got the playoffs in the nba so we'll see how the schedule is looking you know i'm probably going to honestly limit myself on the amount of nba if there's just like two games on the day I'd rather go towards baseball where there's 10 plus games a day. So we'll see how, how it plays out. But to top off this NBA season, nothing would be better than hitting a 10X. So that's what we're shooting for on today's slip. But as always, guys, if y'all watch these videos, y'all like these breakdowns, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can see these breakdown videos as soon as they drop. I'm dropping prize picks videos like this every single morning. And if you want all my free plays even sooner before these videos even release, join the Discord. The link is going to be in the description. I'll also drop it in the comments. It is free to join that Discord. And for today, I'm posting all my NBA slips in there as well. I've already posted the lineup that I'm about to go over, and I've already posted a, a underdog five-man slip as well. But let's dive into yesterday's plays that we had on the video. So yesterday, there was no NBA, so we went with all MLB and we ended up cashing out, right? We ended up hitting Contreras and Winker. Our top two plays on that slip ended up hitting for us. We threw those in a double. We also threw those in a five-man slip as well. Um, and we just missed our 10X here. All right, we had Bailey and McCarthy come through here. Baum just couldn't get a strikeout, right? He had like three at-bats where he had two strikes on him. He was right there. They just couldn't put him away. And then his last at-bat of the game, he got intentionally walked. So that hurt us. But I'm not going to complain about a four and five on the lineup and then hitting the double as well. So we cashed out there. We also had some other winners in the Discord in the premium plays, but this was just the play that I gave away in yesterday's video. But if you're not on prize picks and y'all want to get started, it is a great time to get started with NBA playoffs coming up. You got the MLB season just starting, right? We're just a couple of weeks in. So a lot of action every single day. Drop in this code here. They're going to hook you up with 100% match deposit bonus. If you throw in 50, they're going to give you 50. Throw in 100, they're going to give you 100. And the same offer applies to Chalkboard. Use the code SHARK here. They're now on Droid for your Droid users who've been waiting. Drop in that code SHARK. They're going to match you. Um, and then if you do either of these, if you're not in the Discord, join the Discord. If you're in there already, shoot me a message. Let me know that you signed up and I'll set you up in the premium for 30 days. But sliding over here to the Discord. If you go to the free play section, I've already posted the slip that I'm about to go over. Today, I'm posting all NBA slips as well, especially if there's any discounted lines or anything. I got a five-man slip here on Underdog. But as I said in yesterday's video, we are coming up on 3,000 subscribers. So we're about 15 to 20 subscribers away from hitting 3,000. So I just want to say I appreciate y'all. And for that, I'm giving everyone a free week in the premium plays if you want to try it out and get some dubs and see if it's for you. All you need to do to get in that is just drop me the basketball emoji in Discord in the message. Drop me that basketball emoji. I'm going to get you set up in the premium for seven days. You'll get the rest of today's plays and you'll get all of next week. We're going to be hitting baseball hard and we're also going to be hitting the NBA playoffs. So a good time to get on board with that. Like I said, just drop me that basketball emoji. That's all you do. Make sure you message me, though. Don't throw it in the chat. Don't throw it on YouTube. Just just drop it in the messenger on Discord. And I'll set you up for that. But let's dive into some of the plays for the day, right? Let's dive into this optimizer here. Let's hit that refresh and see what is cooking up this morning. So the top play it has at the moment is going to be Carl Anthony Towns over 1.5 three-pointers made. So he just came back like last game. Um, I did read earlier that there is a chance he might not play. They may sit him out for the last one, get him ready for the playoffs. I'm not sure, but they're also in a three-way tie for that number one seed. So there is a chance he could play. So this is something to monitor, but this is a solid line here if he does play. Over on the 3.5, over 1.5 on the three-pointers made for Anthony Towns. We got CJ McCollum here, under 28 and a half points. You can see all a lot of these books, you can see FanDuel has is at 27.5, so you're getting good value at the 28.5. And then you got KD, under 10 and a half rebounds and assists. So these are the three optimized plays at the moment. This changes throughout the day. But if you're looking for a tool like this that can help you find the best lines in a split second, just hitting that refresh. Daily Grind is the best site for that. Drop in that code SHARK. They're going to hook you up for 25% off your first month there as well. But let's slide into the plays that I'm on today. So with the last game of the season, um, some lines are tricky. Some lines I wanted to play, but I passed on them just because of the situation of the game. Normally, those are lines I would play. Um, and I'll go. I'll give you an extra play at the end of this video. If you want to throw it, throw this into your six man, it's kind of a riskier play, but it's a play I'm liking. 
But let's start with my top two plays of the day. So first play on the board, we are going Caleb Martin. And so this play is heavily dependent on Duncan Robinson playing. So if you play this, keep in mind, I'm taking the risk here and I'm going, I'm rolling the dice on Caleb Martin because I like this line, especially if, if Caleb, if Duncan Robinson doesn't play. Or if Duncan Robinson does play, it definitely hurts our chances. Um, Caleb Martin, he could still hit this line possibly, but his minutes are just going to be cut down. So Caleb Martin over two and a half assists. If we go to the spread here, minus 15. So a big spread. Normally I like to avoid these especially with the last games of the season coming up. But this line is so low. I'm, li I'm liking Caleb Martin. I think if he does play, Duncan Robinson doesn't play, he can get his minutes and hit this line for us pretty pretty soon. So if we slide over here to Caleb Martin. Over his last five, he's been hitting this line at 60% of the time, averaging 3.2. His last 10, 70%. And he's had a couple games here of six assist games, which is what I like to see. I like to see that upside. Last 20, only at about 45%. Head-to-head, 67%. And they've played him three games this year, and he's gone over this line every single time against Toronto, so that's a good sign. For the year, only 38%, but you can see recently is when he started to really get those assists. Toronto's whole team is pretty much out there. One of the worst defenses in the league. Assists allowed 27. But like I said, a big part of this play is going to be Duncan Robinson. All right, game-time decision. I was reading that he's having like some sort of like back issues. They may try to sit him, just give him that rest for the final game before the playoffs. If he does play, he may not be 100% also. He may play limited minutes. So it just depends with him, right? We got Rozier out also. We go to the odds makers. We got DraftKings minus 130. Caesars minus 133. FanDuel minus 134. So all the odds makers minus 130 and up heavily favored in Caleb Barton to go on the over. We slide the Rotowire projections. We got... 2.8 assist on Caleb Martin here. So Rotowire has him going over this line as well. For the next play I'm liking is going to be Beverly. So Giannis is ruled out for the game today. So a lot of these players are getting boosted. So another play I'm liking is this is in my underdog slip. So that's why it isn't in this slip. But Jay Crowder, PRA over eight and a half. He's getting a big bump with Giannis being out as well. But Pat Beverly over seven and a half rebounds. So Let's slide over here to the game. So we got the Bucks and the Magic, right? Playoff game here. Both these teams are in the playoffs, so this should be a solid game here. Let's slide over to Beverly here. So his last five, he's hit this line 100% of the time. I think this is actually a popular play on prize picks as well. Normally, I'm not really on the popular plays, but this happens to be one that I'm liking. But you can see he's absolutely been crushed in this line here. His last 10, 60%, last 20, 40. Head-to-head, -head, 14 points or 14 rebounds and assists here. Not that long ago against Orlando, right? For the year, 33%. But a lot of this was when he was on the Sixers. And then you could see when he did slide over to the Bucks, which was probably about when he got traded right around here. Um, he had some reds, but then he's been starting to heat up here recently. But if you filter this down on outlier, right? You go to games without, Giannis is already ruled, Giannis is already ruled out. So we take him out of the lineup. Um, and then we do last 20. Let's do last five here. So these are all the games he's played without Giannis since he's been on the Bucks. He's hit this line for 60% uh, of the time, averaging 8.2 here. Over his last two, though, you can see without Giannis, 14 and 10 here. So we're getting solid value on Beverly, even though Orlando is the number one ranked D in rebounds and assists allowed. He's already proven he can go over this line here the other day with 14 so i'm liking this play on beverly um if we look at the odds makers here we got DraftKings minus 130 caesars minus 133 bet mgm minus 135 so another play they're heavily favored into go over here if you slide over to rotowire's projections if you add these up it gives you a little bit over eight somewhere in the nine range so they got beverly going over this line by a whole point and a half here as well so Top two plays, I got these locked in. Like I said, with Martin, monitor Duncan Robinson's status. You can wait that one out, or you can take the risk and go for it. But the next one I'm like is going to be Chet Holmgren. I'm going under eight and a half rebounds here. Um, they're, the whole Mavericks team is pretty much out. They're not playing nobody. The Thunder are like a minus 18, 19 spread. So crazy spread there. Should be a blowout game there. Now the Thunder are playing for that one seed as well. So there is a chance they could keep him out there a little bit longer than I would like. 
Chet Holmgren, but I still feel like this line, he's been going under consistently under this line, even when he's played full minutes. So with the blowout potential, with the chance they blow him out and they can secure that win early, I think they will pull him to try to save him for the playoffs or if they can secure that win early. But if not, they're going to keep him out there because um, they're trying to get that one seed. So hopefully we can get that blow out there, see what happens. But I like Holmgren staying on the under here. Another player I'm liking is going to be Conley. So they are playing for the one seed as well, right, the Timberwolves. But they are playing the Suns, who are a tough matchup, man, for Conley. Even though this line is set at 20 and a half, even though he has gone over recently, um, the Suns are a tough matchup, man. His last three games versus the Suns, he's gone under this line. The spread's about a minus five, plus five and a half, or somewhere like that. But I'm liking Conley to stay under this, man. Um, Anthony Edwards is also a game-time decision, so I definitely wouldn't play Conley if anthony edwards is ruled out but i'm seeing that there is a highly likely chance that edwards is going to play and there's also a chance that carl anthony towns could play as well but i'm going with the under on conley here under 20 and a half rebounds pra i just don't see edwards sitting this out when their number one seeds on the line so i'm rolling with conley here and then for the last play i'm going to be going Jaden ivy over seven and a half rebounds and assists here this game's about a plus five spread here um, Cade Cunningham is ruled doubtful from what I saw. So Jaden Ivey is going to get extended minutes here, even though it is the last game of the season. All right, Wim Yama's out as well for the Spurs. So it should be enough for Ivy to get enough rebounds and assists potential here. And those are going to be my top five plays, right? And if you're looking for a little bonus play, this is a play I'm, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to play yet. Maybe I might throw in a lineup later. I'm liking this play a lot. The only reason I'm not liking this play is because it's like a minus 15 spread. But the play I was liking was um, Claxton over 11 and a half rebounds assists. So you could add this to this five man and make it a 25 X. It's up to you. But these are the plays that I'm rolling with for today. But I just want to say I appreciate everyone who's been watching these plays, liking these videos, dropping me comments. It really helps the channel grow. We are pushing 3000. We should be able to hit it by today. So make sure you also drop in these promo codes if you're looking to get started on these sites. It is a great time now with NBA playoffs coming up, with MLB season just started. There's going to be plenty of discounts going around as well. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Remember, all the games are early today for NBA and MLB. Uh, most games are starting around 12 to 3 in that range, and then they're going to be done before this evening. So keep that in mind if you're seeing this video later today. Some of the games may have already started, but y'all have a great rest of the day. Enjoy your Sunday. Take care.